guys, today I thought it would be really, really fun to unbox with you the Fortune Cookie Soap Box that I just received in the mail. This is for the spring season, it is their spring box. In case you don't know how it works, every couple of months when you enter a new season, Fortune Cookie Soap sends out a box, if you are subscribed to them, they send out a box of seasonal scents and soaps and just formulas and all that great jazz, you know, they, they send all that out um, for every new season. So, I just received in the mail, I said it was spring, it's not, it's summer. I just received in the mail the Summer 2016 Soap Box and it's really cute. It is Finding Nemo inspired. So. It is based on the movie, in case you haven't seen it, is Finding Nemo. Um, so there is a lot of like inside jokes and stuff with the names of these products and you know, if, if you haven't seen the movie don't worry about it, but you know. This is the little card of things we get in this box, so I'll be reading it as we go along. It's really cool because they send you a code worth $10 to your email. So, you not only get to actually enjoy this, but then you also get a nice little, you know, promo code, I guess, for these products. So, let us begin. The first thing in this box is the Fortune Cookie Soap itself. It comes in a little packet like this. Um, it is called Shark Bait, which if you didn't know, is what Nemo is called in the movie. Basically, they call him shark bait. If I could get it out of this little, little paper bag. It's so cute because they have it painted like a little clownfish. And it smells so good. It smells like, like a creamsicle. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So basically, this is the description. It says, don't be fooled by his lucky fin. This little guy is one tough cookie. We may call him shark bait, but scrub up with this fresh blend of sweet oranges, creamy vanilla ice cream, and juicy sandalwood infused strawberries, and we guarantee you won't smell like a bucket of chum. How cute is that, though? <laughs> okay, so it just smells so good. And if you aren't familiar with fortune cookie soap, with inside of every fortune cookie, there is... A piece of paper just like a regular fortune cookie and mine's pretty deep in here <laughs> Mine's pretty deep do you see it no maybe I can get into it so as I'm trying to open this to get the little fortune out these are handmade soaps by an individual and they had gotten popular their store gotten popular online I remember hearing about them like everywhere back in the day like around five six years ago maybe even longer maybe shorter but it's been for a very long time and I don't think that this is like a super recent box that they've had like it's not just begun I think they've had it for a couple years now um but this is like my first year having it oh I got it out I got it out I got it out this is my first year actually getting it. I got falls, I got winners, and then I got this one. So this is the little fortune that you get. But yeah, this is soap, so you just use it in the shower. I like to keep it as safe as possible to make it last as long as possible. So I like to just, when I'm done using it, put it back in here, seal it, and put it back in the box. Little fortune. First of all, you get their little website fortunecookiesoap.com and the little fortune is we call this his lucky fin and that's just a quote from the movie but that's cute moving on the next thing in the box that you get is a hand sanitizer now this is called little blue and it says just keep sanitizing just keep sanitizing just keep sanitizing 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 what do we do? We sanitize, sanitize. Now, in case you don't know, it's a play on a quote from the movie. It says, The symphony of anjou pear and juicy apples harmonized with plum, 
blossoms with plum blah Let me start that over. Emily, edit this out. This symphony of angel, pear, and juicy apples harmonized with plum blossoms, sandalwood, and a twist of amber is sure to have you singing our FCS anthem. All together now, just keep sanitizing. Oh, and yes, I'm a natural blue. So basically, this smells really good. It smells so good, and there's glitter in it. It's this very, very beautiful blue, and I'll show you when it comes out. It is just as pigmented. It is so nice, but it doesn't stain you or anything like that. It's all gone. No blueness left. So that is really awesome. It's really cute, actually, to throw these in your purse and just, like, have them whenever you need them. Now, my favorite fortune cookie soap product is their whipped cream, and it's basically just whipped body butter. This one is called Intervention. I don't know how to describe this scent, but I... Oh, seriously, though, it is, like, so beautiful. The te texture is, like, amazing. It smells like fruity coconuts, <laughs> which is such a weird description, I know, but it's like a very sweet, tropical coconut smell. It is so nice and just scrumptious. It just smells juicy. I don't know how to... See, I'm one of those people who will literally put a cream on and all day I'll just be sitting here like... And then six hours go by, and I'm like, mm, God, it still smells good. <laughs> so this says about the whipped cream, it says, Although this enchanting blend of creamy coconut milk and tangy pineapples drifting on a warm island breeze may get your taste buds tingling, you must always remember one thing. Fortune cookie soap products are for your skin, not your mouth. Sorry to disappoint. It smells like, if I had to simplify this scent, it smells kind of like, like a coconut smoothie. Just like, it has like this coconut scent, but it's also very creamy, like, it has an almost creamy scent to it, like kind of like a p coconut and like vanilla ice cream in a way, like, a, you know, like a creamsicle, but in a pine, like in a coconut way. The next product is a perfume oil. I love their perfume oils because they stay on all day. They smell great, they're moisturizing, I just love it. Um, the only thing I will tell you is if you get their perfume oils, be careful because I have in the past sprayed it on my clothes and it is oil so it's hard to get oil out of clothes. So just be wary of that because I didn't realize, I didn't think about it in the moment, you know. I don't know why, but I didn't. Oh well, thank god it wasn't a, you know, a great shirt, it was just a pajama shirt, but you know what I mean. It's really, really nice, actually, to take a really hot bath, like a nice bath, and then get out and just kind of spray this once on your wrist and just, like, on your warm skin still, like, just kind of, like, massage it in, and because your skin's warm, it just spreads. Like, I don't know how quite to explain that in a pleasant way. I'm not doing it justice, but like your skin's warm and then you just rub it on and it just soaks in and it is just awesome. So this is great. It is so sweet. This smells how when you smell a green apple scent, it doesn't smell naturally how green apples smell. And then you like eat a green apple and, and then you're like, there's just, it's like such a nice juicy smell. This is what that smells like. This is what that smells like. That just that you bite into freshest green apple you can find, and that's what this smells like. This is called Whale Talk, and it says, simply place this tropical mashup of strawberries, black currant, jasmine, grapefruit, and fresh avocado under your nose and take a whiff. There's no green apple scent in this thing, but when I tell you these scents combine to smell like a fresh, juicy green apple, I swear. It's kind of spicy but in like a really springy way because usually spice makes you think of like winter and fall okay next it's so another soap now if you're familiar with Lush's um jelly soaps they are like jello but you use them to wash with this is pretty much what this is except this is much 
um, it's not as, like, malleable. This smells like red Twizzlers or cherry cough drops. This is so sickingly sweet in, like, the best possible way. I cannot wait to try this and see how well the scent actually lingers after my shower because this just takes me back to being like a little kid and it just it smells so good and that is called jelly man it says let us introduce to you a delightful blend of black cherry watermelon and frothy iced guava nectar floating with sliced strawberries and key limes simply pop this little squishy out of his container and take him in the shower with you work him into a lather and rub all over all of the fresh all of the clean with none of that jellyfish sting it smells delicious guys i cannot wait to use it now we are getting into the last couple products the next product is probably my least favorite in the entire box but it's still really good it's still really nice it is a spray lotion and basically what you do is you just spray it on your skin you know and then you rub it in this is a very nice smell but for me personally it's a little too masculine for my taste it's like just a little bit like a it smells a little bit too much like a men's cologne However, once you put it on and wear it for about an hour, it definitely becomes a much gentler scent and it, it is a little bit less heavy because that's kind of what makes it feel a little masculine for me is it's a very musky, heavy scent. And now, I love musky scents. If I had to choose my favorite perfumes, it, they would all be musky perfumes. I love that musky scent. But... This is very, very heavy. It's a very strong smell, and I feel like for a spray lotion, you want that lotion to be light. That's why it's a spray lotion, because it's light and it's creamy, and you can just rub it on, and it absorbs very quickly. So it's a little bit too heavy of a scent, I think, for me personally, but I think that it does smell good. I think everybody has a different taste. Definitely still a good product. I think that there are so many people who have different tastes when it comes to scent. So, you know, some of these things might be hit and miss. But this is honestly, in this box, the only slightly unsuccessful thing for me. But if I'm being honest, it's not even unsuccessful. It's still great. It's just that maybe I wouldn't do a whole one spray. I would probably do like half of a spray because it is a little bit heavy of a scent, but that's it. So it's really, really nice, actually. Oh, it's called Aqua Scum, and it says, Feeling a little dry after taking a dip off the shores of Mount Wanahakalugi? Uh, <laughs> Wanahakalugi. <laughs> gotcha. Not to worry. Give our new Ultra Light Spray Lotion a try. Simply spray on and rub into skin until fully absorbed. This moisturizing blend of juicy lychee crisp apple, and mouth-watering peach nectar is sure to bring you back to a state of optimal hydration. Now we're getting to the final things here. I'm actually going to do the last one on this list. So I'm going to skip this one for now and come back to it. I'm going to move to this and I'll tell you why. Mine, unfortunately, through the mail, broke. However, all it is is a petty bomb, so it's a... Uh, bath bomb for your feet so you'd put it in water let it absorb and then you'd soak your feet in it so I don't necessarily mind that it's broken because it's just gonna end up going into water and fizzing up anyway you know so it's not actually going to affect how the product works whatsoever it's just simply aesthetic wise I don't mind it too much it smells so good it just smells like lime it smells like the lime pine saw but it also smells kind of like green Sour Patch Kids, like that, like that sweet lime flavor. They describe it as lemon, lemon lime, lemon lime fizzy pop floating with orchids and a curl of white chocolate. It may sound a little out there, but take one whiff of this little guy and you'll be doing it up with us in no time. So it smells really, really great, and it just smells fresh and clean. And I really actually can't wait to use that. I have never truly used any kind of foot products. Like, I use lotion made specifically for feet and stuff like that. But I've never used, like, a 
petty bomb. So I'm actually pretty excited for that because my feet need some help. So the last thing in this little box is a lip gloss. Oh, and this just smells like bubble gum. It looks like this. I would put it on, but, you know, I might actually put on just a little bit. So it is a really nice. And I just used it from here, as you can see. I just, like, kind of squished it. And it tastes so good. And I'm not supposed to eat makeup, but what does get in your mouth actually tastes so good. And it smells and tastes like bubble gum. It's really shiny, as you can as you can plainly see. It's pretty shiny. As a lip gloss itself, it is pretty thick. It's not goopy, like it's not sticky. You know, sometimes thick lip glosses can be pretty goopy, and then they are uncomfortable, and then they like are so heavy for your lips that they always gather. At least for me, they gather like the bottom of my lip. But this is actually really really nice. The name of it is Ooh Barracuda. And I'm assuming that's supposed to be said like, oh, barracuda, you know, heart. So anyway, <laughs> they describe this as a perfect summer pairing of juicy cantaloupe, crisp green honeydew, and sweet red watermelon with a splash of lime and a sprinkle of raw cane sugar. And then the final thing actually that comes in this is a little marble. And it's so cute. Look how cute it is. And now, I'm not sure what it's supposed to actually signify, but I believe it's supposed to be, like, the pearl in the oyster, you know. But it's super cute. That is everything in this box. It's so much fun, no matter your age or gender or whatever. It's actually really, really fun to get one of these boxes and just have a fun time unboxing them and just smelling everything. And then, the best part... It feels so luxurious to use these products that smell and feel amazing. So, that is the Fortune Cookie Soap Box Summer Edition. Tell me down in the comments what you guys think about it. I am trying a new foundation out today. So, tell me what you think of it. Do you think it matches well? Do you think it's like too high coverage or too low coverage? Do you think... Like, for example, this arm is tan uh, tanner than this arm is. Because this is my driving, you know, I go like this when I drive. So, does it match? Like, should I wear it when I'm a little bit tanner? Like this? Or should I wear it with my natural skin tone, which is a little bit lighter? What do you guys think? You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, even Pinterest. Find those links down below. Um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!